Hello, it's the Crap Goth. My name is Pixie and welcome to my channel of randomness where you never know what you're going to get. This is an update video on mental meds for those people who saw the first video and have been asking. How have we got on? <laughs> Stick around to find out. Okay, so first of all, oh my gosh, this is a follow-on, um, so this is a bit of video diary. I can't even remember what it is I recorded, <laughs> basically. Um, so for those people who saw my first video, which was called Mental Meds, I think, it was about taking these little things, which are called Venlafaxine, and they are 37.5 milligrams tablets. And these are for anxiety and things like that, because I suffer really, really badly with panic attacks and all that stupid shit. I hate it, like it literally ruins my life. I've got to the point where I thought I need to do something about it and I, I hate taking meds like I'm not joking I fucking hate it. I can't stand it I have really bad issues with taking them like I don't know because I get voices in my head and ex externally as well I've got a lot of mental health problems going on basically I'm a little bit batshit um, but very open about it obviously so when um, I made a video about taking these and how scared I was of taking something new um, I've actually spoken to a lot of people across the world now and they actually said that they also have problems taking tablets it makes them dead nervous they don't know the side effects you know you don't know if it's gonna be right for you so this is just basically a little bit of a video diary to say how I went on with these little things and like I said I can't remember what the hell I filmed when I first started but today is day seven and I'm just about to take the seventh one today so yeah I will uh, let you see what I've, whatever I've said and I'll be back at the end of the video because obviously I'm doing this backwards, because this is me. Random. <laughs> All them bloody dolls. Too many bloody dolls. <laughs> so night one, done. Night one, done, yeah. So um, obviously I got jittery after taking the, after taking the med. I didn't know what I was going to. Um, yeah. But it made me, actually, it made me sleepy. Um, and it got to, I had it at 10 o'clock at night, and then I edited the video that I put up um, about taking it, didn't I? Yeah. And then um, it made me go, I was in bed by half past one in the morning, which is just unheard of for me. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. And I was awake for about 20 to nine this morning. And dun, dun, dun. And it's quarter past nine now. Um, but yeah, I've not woken up. I mean, I know like, every, like you said, it takes a week to kind of uh, kick in, but... But you are perkier today than you've been yeah, in a you, long time. Yeah, you just said, didn't you? Yeah. Like, yeah. This, this is this, this is why you're filming it. It's like, um, yeah. I, like, normally I wake up and I wake up having panic attacks and I wake up needing diazepam. And but I mean, don't get me wrong. I I went to bed feeling sick because we read, didn't we? Afterwards. After taking the tablet, you're actually supposed to take it with food, and it was ten o'clock at night, and I don't like eating at night time because that's when I put weight on. With so, or soon after. Yeah. food or with a meal yeah. yeah so tonight i'll be taking it with like a snack or so i get some rabbit or some crackers or something so actually something non-bready because bread makes me ill but yes i'll be taking it with food i woke up this morning sorry <laughs> i woke up this morning and i, I can feel the effects definitely i've so i've got a jittery jaw like i said spanky you know when you shiver and you go blah, 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 blah. like my jaw's doing that and i've got a little bit of a watery mouth i can feel that and I've got a little bit of a headache. It's not too bad. Um, but I feel sick. I like, really sick. But apart from that, I've not woken up having a panic attack. Which, I don't know if this is going to carry on, but fingers crossed. Day one and uh, night one. Fingers crossed. So far, so good. So far, so good. Next one tonight. Next one tonight, yep. Ten o'clock uh, tonight. The alarm's already set because <sighs> we're both absolutely abysmal at yeah. taking tablets. I. I'm supposed to be taking my blood pressure ones, and I've completely forgot about that yesterday. Oh my god, Spanky! <laughs> Don't you go down because if you like, if you ah, mine's only hi mine's only hypertension. Only hypertension, it's fine. Oh my god, it's got hyper in it, so it must mean good. <laughs> when you get high, when you get hyper, it's you're a frigging nightmare. You're like a toddler on acid or something. I you know. I don't know how you have that reference. Why are you giving toddlers acid? <laughs> what what kind, what, no, what kind no, of upbringing did you have where you gave toddlers acid? No, literally, shut up. And I didn't give my toddlers acid before social services are watching this and going, <gasps> No wonder they're so creative. <laughs> yeah. Family of loons. But no, we're all okay so far. Yeah. So yeah, I'll let you know how it goes in a couple of days. 
Hey little docu diary. So it is night two of taking the med. Um, it's about uh, 25 to midnight and I took it about 10 o'clock at night and I feel really sick, like really really sick. So I woke, this, woke up this morning, um, I went to bed like fairly early morning, um, about half past one this morning which is really good for me. I had a decent sleep, woke up feeling fairly okay actually. As uh, so Spanky said, look, you know, we kind of document this. So I've, I've not had any panic attacks pretty much the whole of the beginning of the day. And it got to about four o'clock-ish and I started to get really jittery and started to get panicky again and not feel very well. Um, had my second tablet, um, like I said, about 10 o'clock tonight and just feel really, really sick. And I had it with food this time, not much, just, just a bit, but I just feel so sick. Um, you know that when you get motion sickness and you kind of, you move your head too fast and it just makes you want to vomit, that's exactly how I feel right now. Um, I'm kind of spacey, um, a little, but very, very sick, just, I don't know, I just don't feel, I don't feel well. Um, obviously it's just the loading phase of the tablets, apparently they're not supposed to work for a week, <laughs> but clearly I am sensitive to meds. Um, I'm still going to carry on with it, obviously it's still better than having a massive, massive panic attack, but it doesn't feel nice. But yeah, I'll see how we get on and I'll do a week's worth of um, these little video things just so you know how I am at night and daytime and then uh, put the video up just to see how it is really. Everyone's different aren't they? But fingers crossed that the, the side effects are going to far outweigh. It's going to be worth it basically, it's going to be it's gonna be worth it because I can't live with the panic attacks I've been having. So, But at the moment I feel sick, very very sick so I'm going to try and get some sleep which is really early for me. <laughs> So right, see you in the morning. Yeah, and these two say goodnight as well. See ya. Hey, so I am on day three of taking this venaflaxine, ven whatever the freaking hell it's called anyway. Um, I've had two tablets so far, so this is day three. I'm doing another one at 10 o'clock tonight and it's currently uh, nearly 5 p.m. And I feel like shit. Um, I've been going to bed, um, it says to take it with food and I've been taking mine at night time. I can move my dose up to two, um, two a day, like one morning, one night, but I'm not ready for that yet. I'm starting off slow because I'm so sensitive to meds. So um, I've been taking it at night with a little bit of food, um, 10 o'clock every night and um, so far. And it just makes me feel really sick, like full on like nauseous. And I know this is probably small compared to the multitude of other, you know, side effects that other meds cause. But this is my personal experience of what this med is doing because, you know, I don't like taking them. So this is obviously the video diary <clears throat> for that. I said I'd be honest, um, not moaning about it, not bitching or anything like that. It's just letting you know, it's making me feel like shit. Um, I've had two, three panic attacks today, like fairly big ones. Um, even went out of the house with my husband and my daughter to the park. My, my little girl had to play on the park. I just sat on the floor in one space because I couldn't like feel like motion sickness. Like kind of when I'm sat still, even when I'm sat still, I feel as though like everything's spinning around me like I've been drinking. I haven't. Um, so yeah, I feel a bit sick. That's that's a bit horrible. But I can live with that. I can live a bit, you know, with the nauseating feeling. That's that's okay. Um, the panic attacks are much more significant than when I wasn't on it, which I don't understand at all, but I'm on the loading phase and it's only really been two two days, I suppose, properly. I'm on my third day now, so I'm um, sleeping okay though, it's making me tired. Normally I won't go to bed till four or five o'clock in the morning, if not later. Um, and it's, so I'm having the medicine at like 10 o'clock at night and probably about an hour and a half later, I'm getting sleepy and I'm just rolling with it, I'm going to bed. So well, you might have noticed those American people I talk to quite a lot, um, I'm not talking to you as much at the moment because I'm actually asleep, which is a good thing. That's a good thing. Waking up feeling sick. Um, and my, I haven't really got an appetite, to be fair, but that's not a bad thing because I need to lose weight. So, yeah, um, the, the, the positives, it's making me sleep a bit more, which is better because I do need sleep. I was very, very sleep, sleep deprived. Negatives are definitely nausea, uh, feeling quite lightheaded. Um, get headaches but not massive ones just like for the first hour or so after taking it I get a headache uh, I just feel unsteady off my feet I just feel like jittery I'm very 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 jittery um, like I said I've had a couple of panic attacks today well that begins also whilst I was out and that wasn't very nice I just don't you know you just don't feel well I think it's that but again it's my body's got to adjust to something new and the problem with me is something that my husband pointed out in the car because I got back to the car and I was physically shaking and I was like going 
because I couldn't breathe. Like I've tried to do the in from my mouth, in from my nose, out from my mouth, and all that kind of stuff, and it doesn't work. When I'm in a full panic, I can't get out of it, and it's really, really hard. And it's like I'm ready to take meds now and to do something about this, but like my brain is literally battling my body, and it just doesn't make any sense because. I like 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 my husband said, um, I took sleeping tablets um I don't know a few weeks ago now and it's like says like it's meant to knock you out basically and I was just like sat up like four hours later like I'm not gonna let it I'm not gonna let it go. I was fighting the medicine like I am not gonna go to sleep and but this time I'm not fighting against it, but my head is like telling me I can't breathe and then I can't and then I have panic attacks and then it's just horrible. I don't know what it is, it's just fucking it's awful. Honestly, I feel I feel like shit. I really do. So uh, I'm due to go to London in less than two weeks and I'm kind of dreading it. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is stick with a one dose all the way up to London and through London. And then, because I'm, I'm going with a friend, I'm not going to, I'm not being there on my own. Like John's going to drop drop us off at the hotel and I'm there with her for three days and then he's going to pick us up from London. And um, so I'm always with somebody. And then when I get home, I'm probably going to start, possibly I might up my dose to two a day because that, that was recommended but I didn't want to just jump in with both feet because I'm so sensitive to meds so yeah um I might look okay to you but I've been shaking like shit and I've been having panic attacks and it's taken me this long to calm down and get enough breath to be able to talk to you guys so yeah do I like it no <laughs> no I don't but I don't also don't like don't like living with such severe panic attacks that I feel like I'm going to die I've also had chest pain again today like really bad chest pain which is what I ended up in hospital with before and that was pre pre taking any of these meds, so it's nothing to do with that. So we still don't know what that is. I haven't had the results from my, my test that I had, my scan on my heart. I haven't had my test results back in from the x-ray that I had either. So we don't know what's going on. But I'll stick at it and I shall uh, let you know in a couple of days what it's like. But at the moment, I don't like it. I don't. But there's worse things in the world, isn't there, eh? So we'll get there. Hopefully. so super quick um it's about 25 to 1 in the morning we've just had the biggest storm i think that the uk has seen in years absolutely massive torrential downpour thunder and lightning so um i had my tablet at 10 o'clock as normal um the storm had started to die down by then um i've kind of kept myself busy this this evening by filming the storm for youtube um obviously couldn't really upload it because um, it wasn't safe to have devices plugged in because it was a massive, massive storm with, like I said, lightning and everything. Um, I go to sleep with storm sounds on most nights on YouTube on my telly um, in my bedroom, which is where I am now. Um, but I didn't actually need to this evening because it's been like a raging storm. So I ended up filming that and that kind of occupied my mind a bit. Um, I'm starting to feel groggy and sleepy and a bit sick now. So just heading off to bed. Um, see how it is tomorrow. Had some really massive panic attacks yesterday whilst I was out, so don't want to go through that again. Um, but we'll see how things are tomorrow. Well, today, <laughs> later when I wake up. See you later. This is now day four, by the way, because we've just entered day four and I've had three tablets so far. Just tired. See you in the morning. Okay, so day number seven. Now, this is the first time I've done it on my own. Um, Spanky's always been, my husband, has always been with me to take tablets because I'm not very good at doing it. I've just been to check on where he is and he's actually filming for YouTube because he's got a YouTube channel as well. I'll link it in the description. Um, so yeah, I've just peeked through his door and he's busy filming so I'm not going to bother him. So this is the first time I've taken a tablet on my own, which those of you who followed my channel will know this is a huge deal for me. So yeah, this is tablet number seven. So six down. And I'm about to go for number seven, so I'm just going to get over, over and done with because I think about it, I won't take it. I can see who's coming now, actually. About to walk in. I'm doing it anyway. I'm going to pause when it comes in because it's going to be looking for my tablets and I've got them here. Right, so he's magically here. So he actually was coming through the kitchen looking, <laughs> looking for my tablets. I've just taken my tablet on my own. Um, yeah, so this is the first time I've ever done that, actually, I think, isn't it? And you can tell it's monumentous because I just said it's a big thing and she didn't make any jokes. Oh, yeah, about size. Yeah. That's what she said and all that shit. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to go because obviously it's all, it's all kind of like when I'm good doing something on camera in it. Yeah. And then, but it's then afterwards, I 
So I, th I think I've said this multiple times on a lot of my mental health stuff. <coughs> I do something and I get fucking punished for it. Like I'll go out, like, like I did to Nottingham. Um, yeah. I made a video about, about the Nottingham trip with my daughter. For about a week after, chronic panic attacks every single day, couldn't sleep, all that kind of stuff on there. Yep. So sometimes when I do stuff for myself, it's dead good, but then I get repercussions from that. Oh. My dog's <laughs> making grunting noises. Back with sneezing. Yeah. So yes, seven days of venlafaxine. How's it gone? How do you think it's gone? I think it's pretty brilliant. Mm. I mean, I can't remember what it is I put in my video diary, so we're not going to, obviously, people would have seen this by now because this is going at the end of the video. So I do things yeah. backwards. I did, I did my intro at the end. But it's, um, so, so far, what has it been like? So obviously you would have seen the days running up to it. I think I only did about three or four days. Um, but right now I feel absolutely fine on them, to be honest with you. I think this is the first one. I've not felt like shit. I was going to say, there's been, like, the normal doing bits and bobs. Yeah, which, and... which they would have seen. Yeah, yeah, this. yeah, yeah. So it hasn't been... Plain sailing. It hasn't been plain sailing, it's been a lot better than everything else. Yeah, so I mean, a lot of this stuff, I mean, like I've said, I've never had this one before. I've had, mm. I've had all sorts of stuff before, yeah. and it's made me paranoid, it's not, it's made my anxiety worse, it's made me, um, like, suicidal, um, it's made me angry. <laughs> right, just point out, it's made her more paranoid, it's made her more suicidal, and it's made her more angry. People are going to think I'm a right unhinged bitch. It's part of your charm. Are you saying I'm actually an unhinged bitch? I am not unhinged. No, she's not. She's like one of them gates that you see in films that's just a bit loose. You're not unhinged. Loose? I'm loose! <laughs> Sorry. What do you mean by that? I'm not loose, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're not loose, but your screws are. <laughs> Wow, that escalated quickly. Thanks, Tosser. Here's your words. Eep. Let me twist them. Married life for you. Mm. Don't, don't get married. You fucking knobhead you are. I didn't mean your morals. I haven't got any. So fucking immature. Right, basically. Will you stop doing that? <laughs> he did that on the first video as well. Go back and look on the mental. He made out like a twatting <coughs> one in the in the bloody when we stopped it, and I didn't. I didn't. No, she does it in the legs so the bruises don't show. I no, I don't. I no, don't. She doesn't. Oh my god! I shouldn't joke about that. No, you shouldn't joke about that. You no. dickhead. He's, he is kidding, actually. You know. I have issues with humans. He has in, uh, he he just has this inappropriateness about him at the stupidest times. I'm either trying to be serious or I'm really upset, and he uses humour for everything to mask his fear, to mask his insecurities, or just to be a complete cock. Don't you? Yes. Yes, I don't beat my husband. I can assure you. She doesn't. But you are. I don't actually. <laughs> Off, not up. Yeah. yeah. Right. Anyway, let's stop this. Right. So. Seriously, yeah. stop yeah. it. Right. right. So, venlafaxine, from my experiences as somebody who does not like taking big pharma, has major issues with any kind of drugs, don't like it at all. Um, this is by far, so far, I'm only seven days in, well, this is my seventh tablet, so yes. only a week in, um, and it hasn't knocked me for six. It, yeah, it made me a bit sick. It made me a bit tired the first few days because I'm really overtired anyway. Do you want me to eat something this time? No. So you're supposed to have these with food, and most people will say you're supposed to... Fuck off. Most people are supposed to have this supposed to happen in the morning as well, but my CPN has approved that I have this at night time because um, I want to be able to be like fully awake and all that kind of stuff. So at the moment, this works for me. Obviously, always follow your GP or your CPN or whatever. CPN is a community psychiatric nurse. That's who I see every now and then. Um, always follow their guidelines, but this for me is once a night. I might increase the dose if I need it to. Um, so far, it seems to be okay, doesn't it? Yes. So yeah, I've had some problems, I've had some nausea and all that kind of stuff. You are supposed to have food with it, so I'm going to have a little bit of something to eat, only like an apple or something. Um, but it's all right. I think by far it's been the best one so far. It's yeah. not made me super ill. Um, apparently it doesn't make it doesn't make, make you put on a load of weight because I have a lot of trouble with issue, like, issues with eating. The opposite. Some yeah. people. Yes, some yeah. Some people report it, aren't they? Yeah, apparently some people are reporting that. Well, a lot of people are reporting that. Actually, actually like, quells your appetite a little bit, doesn't it? Mm. But anyway, yeah, so far it's been really good. Um, I can't complain for me. I can't speak for anyone else. Obviously, everyone has different experiences. 
Um, I do know that I've been told by multiple people across the world that um, if you miss a dose, you can feel really poorly. So um, we've just ordered some more today, haven't we? Because mm -hmm. um, I've only got like a few more days. What I've got six tablets left. Seven. Seven tablets left. So that's not really much because it's coming up to the weekend now. What date are we on now? I don't know what date it is. I know it's Wednesday. Hang on, I've got my tablet next to you. It mm -hmm. is... Mm -hmm. 20... 26th? I can't even read. I can't read. can't read. You need glasses. I left my glasses in the Wednesday garbage. the 25th. 5th. Wednesday the 25th of September. Yeah, yeah. so... Um, and I go to London next week, so um, obviously you're, you're taking me to London, dropping me off. Yeah, yes, mum. It's been my chauffeur. So yeah, um, I'm going with my friend Cherry, so we need to make sure I've got plenty of tablets there. Um, she's actually going to help me to take my tablets when I get there, because being all brave on camera is, is one thing, but I think mm -hmm. being away from home... Um, and you know somewhere I'm not really used to and everything so we've already agreed with her that she's going to set an alarm at 10 and she's going to give me my tablets as well and there's actually something funny coming up with that as well which I'm not going to tell you so keep an eye on the Harry Potter video coming up but yeah anyway just really quickly um, these are by far so far the best ones I'm going to do another one in about two weeks just so that you know how I'm actually getting on you but I think one tomorrow. oh shut you I mean a video I'm going to kick him out in a minute shut up Right, I'm going to do another video in a couple of weeks just to let you know how I'm getting on. A really quick one, not a video diary. Oh God, don't... Oh. What? It's okay. So, if you're scared of these, don't be. They're actually okay and I'm sensitive to literally everything. Everything bothers me, doesn't it? I don't like it and I think... You can speak now. Oh, I swear to God, you are doing my head in. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm actually a bit speechless of letting you monologue for a little bit about how wondrous they are and... I wouldn't say they're wondrous because I don't like any any tablets but I, and I still don't know if they work because they take weeks yeah. to get in the system um, I have had a, some major panic attacks um, on them I will say that um, not yesterday not today I've also had breathing problems I ended up in hospital as well well but quite a lot of them you just I breathe through it yeah. yeah so I've been learning breathing techniques as well which is really cool um, but yeah um, I think I think so far they're okay so we'll see how I get on over the next couple of weeks and I'll give you a little short update. No video diaries, so just to let you know very quickly. Well, previously you're the queen of the one night stand, aren't you? you? You have one tablet, it knocks you on your arse completely and then you just don't take it Refuse again. Refuse to take it again. Because Not a one night stand in any other way. Oh, no, 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 no we, we, we've discussed that, no loose morals. Um, but yeah, no, we've had one, two, three, four, seven? Thing. Easily, probably. I think we've gone through seven different ones of various starting letters and complications in pronunciation, but yeah. none of them have ever had anything like this. I mean, it's pretty much. I mean, now, like I said, I'm, I'm seventh. Today's my seventh tablet, and yeah. there's pretty much no side effects at all at the moment that I've noticed. Yeah. Personally, I mean, obviously for the first few days, yes, but now on on day seven, yeah. nothing really. If anything, it helps me to go to sleep as well because um, I've been kind of like, I've been saying, right, okay, I'm starting to feel tired. N not not as in it sedates me, just I just feel naturally tired. Um, so I've been going to bed um, at like a proper time, probably about, about midnight, and actually sleeping, which makes a difference. It's not knocking me out though. I can, and I've got all my emotions as well. That's another big thing for me. Yep. Yesterday, well, last night, I was sobbing until the early hours of the morning over Corey. Um, so for those of you who are new to the channel, um, my little boy Corey, he lost his life last year. Please go back and look on the other videos because I don't want to start crying now. But a lot of these tablets, they do quell your emotions and they make you into a zombie. These don't. I actually sobbed for hours and I know that sounds so stupid, but it was a relief yeah. to sit there and cry and actually feel emotions. So yes, those people who are worried about these, I wouldn't be personally. They're great for me so far. Like I said, I'll let you know in the next couple of weeks what they're actually like. But so far, so good. Yeah. yeah. And um, I'm probably not going to take another one on my own again, but yeah, seven days in, doing all right. Just hope we can uh, get, I, was, I, just, I just want my life back. Mm -hmm. I want my life back where I can actually go out. She wants to go and work at Denby again. <laughs> Denby Pottery. Best job in the world. Best job in the world. I love Denby. Banding. If you don't know what banding is, next time she goes to Denby and does a video, we'll make sure that she talks you through it. And I'm going, it's to, Denby dead to, interesting. going to Denby tomorrow with my support worker. <laughs> Shut up. Right, really quickly now, right, there's nothing to do with meds now, right, because he, he takes the piss out of me every time. Really quickly, Denby Pottery is an established, amazing company over here. Um, it's really close to where we live, which is amazing. I used to work there, 11 hour shifts, four on, four off. It was dead good. I worked in 9A. And banding is when you use the coloured glazes to go around the edge of the pots before they get fired. 
like not as in fired get out as in fired in the kiln which is cool and it's very precise work and yeah, i loved it it was dead good and i love working at debbie pottery and one day i would like to go back so now you can piss off because everybody knows debbie pottery hire me when i'm better because i'm not right yet no. but we're getting there anyway so yeah thank you so much for watching this is really cool thank you for sticking with me thank you to everybody who actually asked about me i had so many text messages and messages across all the different kind of like channels not channels um social media that's what i was trying to think of the name and um, lots of different um platforms that's the word i'm looking for all the different platforms asking me how my meds have been getting on shut the fuck up i'm a bit dopey right okay so yes it's okay i'm all right i'm all right I'm going to go now because I'm just walking like a twat. Please do subscribe to my channel. That would be fantastic. Thank you very much. Like I say, random videos could be about anything. Usually with this twat here as well. Um, don't forget to tick that little bell icon. Yes, you. Tick that little bell icon, whichever the corner of the screen it's in, just so you get notified every time a new video goes up, which is roughly about every three days or so, depending on what I'm doing. He might be in it. He might not be. I might have killed him by now. Especially if we play not touching, can't get mad. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, I'm going to have to explain that now. Right. It's the best game in the world. The best game in the world is not the best game in the world. Really, this is supposed to be a, a meds video. It's turned into a marriage video. Don't, don't. Not touching, can't get mad. I can, just fuck off. Not touching, can't get mad. He's so childish. This is supposed to be the educational, informational video. And you're telling people I'm loose. No. I'm mental. I corrected the loose. And that was part of the mental. <clears throat> I can't quit. I can't touch. Don't get mad. <laughs> sentences can't, can't, sentences can't, can't. are an issue as well, but you know. We should bell him. But yeah, to summarise, the tablets are wonderful. They're doing a very good job. Um, the hinges are better. Getting tighter. I'm getting yeah. tighter. <laughs> Bet you wish, don't you? Not my age, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Need greasing, if anything. Fucking dusty cobwebs right yes anyway tablet's good yeah we're going now because it's going to end up being a, it's a whole different video yeah. right see you later subscribe bitches bye bye Ugh.